greater market access for our farmers and export businesses. Yeah. Order. Just before I call question two, there were quite a few emails through yesterday complaining about the level of interjection that I was allowing, suggesting I was being a bit soft on some members. Um, I may have to address that relatively quickly in this session, unless order. No, they came from all sides of the house, and including the member who just interjected. <laughs> so I require more cooperation. Point of order, Chris Hipkins. Uh, we, we too have had uh, further correspondence as a result of question time yesterday, and one of the points that I'd ask you to consider in that is uh, you've taken a relatively strict approach. I think my microphone's not working. There we go. Uh, you've taken a relatively strict approach to the questions that can be asked in, um, in relation to this matter, and I also ask that um, in doing so, you take a strict approach to the answers that can be given and where they deviate um, significantly from the questions, that you are quick to shut those down as well. Uh, I will hear from the Honourable Simon Bridges. Order. I, th I think it, in order. fact... Now, again, this is a point of order. It will be heard in silence, unless members are quite keen to go back to their offices instead of having to enjoy endure question time. The Honourable Simon Bridges. I think, in fact, reflecting on yesterday, Mr Speaker, whilst your uh, ruling at the start, I think, was very helpful, what, in fact, was happening was the questions ultimately were asking about something there wasn't primary ministerial responsibility for. <laughs> Nevertheless, uh, the Prime Minister was giving answers as, uh, you know, because the question was there. I think that in itself was part uh, of the issue. So I don't think, uh, unlike... Uh, Mr Hipkins over on the other side, it actually was necessarily a question of a strict interpretation of the questions at all. It was the fact that um, uh, they were let through and that led to, uh, or was part of, I think, the situation we had. No, I don't need any further assistance unless it's another point of order. On this matter, I'll adjudge the quality of the answers on each occasion. If I feel the answer is deviating significantly from addressing the question, then I will certainly cease the answers, and I'll also, if the question is relatively political, give some latitude to a Minister or Prime Minister's answering. Question number two. Andrew Little. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Prime Minister. 